Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome. Now, today we're going to take a walk around and a drive of this 2003 Land Rover Defender 90 TD5 XS station wagon. You can see lurking behind me. Two videos, one walk around, one driving video, plus a bit of starting and idling action at the end of both of them. God, so this has come out right in my eyes. Um, yeah, hope you like the videos. Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, 2003 Land Rover Defender 90 TD5 excess station wagon six seater finished in java black usual excess specification this one uh, it's actually in quite standard spec actually um what we've got we've got full checker plate kit um wing tops velocity covers and rear quarters the proper excess side steps uh, we've got the proper boost alloys shot with a matching set of general grabber tr tires um the vent is an aftermarket one better than standard. Uh, what else do we have on it exterior wise? Mud flaps all round. Tow pack. Uh, the tow pack has also got um, an attachment on it for a bike rack and we have the bike rack with it as well. If you look at the photos you'll see a photo of the bike rack fixed in. Um, that's about it externally. Internally um, standard excess spec so heated seats um, it has actually got these new Lucari design seats in, in the front, um, rather than the original half leather ones. These are full leather and stitched in white. The back seats, however, are the originals, uh, the original half leather ones. Uh, Centre chubby box, because it's slightly taller. Um, and a reasonably decent Sony stereo as well, which I think has got Bluetooth and stuff on it. Um, all right, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Now, considering she's 19 years old, it's actually really not in bad shape at all. And especially as black shows every mark. There are a few stone chips around the front end and there's a couple of touched in scratches just here and here. A couple of stone chips on the bonnet and uh, um, the odd blemish here and there, but it actually presents really quite well for a 19 year old Defender. Looking down the near side, very, very faint dent in the um, barrel side just there on the near side front wing um, and another very slight parking dick just there. I mean Land Rovers always pick these up down the sides because um, they're so soft because it's only aluminium. Um, let's have a look under here what we can see. Can't see a massive amount with the big tyres on but uh, that's the front near side outrigger and stuff. post bit of paint loss and stuff here around the uh, windscreen frame in the usual area but the screen block doesn't seem to have lost too much of its paint it's a bit stained under here um, very common with the black ones but the screen itself is in pretty good shape there's no big chips in it or anything no sunroof on this one which is good near side door from the outside looks pretty good uh, obviously being an 03 plate one this has got the earlier type of doors on it so we'll just have a feel under here that feels okay at the minute a very slight bit of crumbling just here at the very front but no more than that the rest of it feels good and nice and strong on the hinge supports uh, interior wise a couple of just white marks here on the air conditioning system um, headlining very slightly droopy towards the back as always and the headlining is a little grubby, but it is, it is 19 years old. Seats, as I said, are brand new, uh, and the centre chubby boxes as well. The rest of the dash looks to be in good shape. It's the original leather rim steering wheel and stuff. It all looks nice in there. Carpeted um, seat boxes and what have you. Front mats have been replaced with carpet with, um, sorry, front carpet mats have been replaced with rubber mats. Along the near side, we've got one or two little bubbles coming up on an uh, electrolytic reaction here under the window and a bit, bit of bubbling on the tub top trim, which is steel. Not excessive though. And usually it's not bubbling around the Alpine light. Uh, near side rear wing all looks pretty good under there, around there. Let's have a look underneath here. Rear cross member looks pretty new actually. It's 
especially from the back looks very uh, very new a few sort of very small pits and stuff just here on the back of the um the, the rear door the rear door is the later type so that doesn't rust door card has got a few marks on it obviously from a dog or something and in the back here doesn't smell of anything but the um the seats especially this seat here has got some marks on it uh, i think don't think they've been used very much because they were folded when it came in um yeah a few marks on the rear seats but they do tend to get a bit marked because people tend to chuck things in the back uh nice rubber mat in the back as well yeah i think that cross member is quite new looking down the offside looks very straight down there Offside rear up here all looks good and around here yeah a little bit of reaction just there on the base of the offside rear wing a couple of scratches just there as I say black does show every single mark if you want one that doesn't show marks buy a silver one and you can see under the back end Driver's door looks pretty good. A couple of tiny chips just up here. Again, driver's A post. Around there. Offside front wing. Tiny, tiny spot of lacquer loss just there on the offside front wing. just there on the base of the offside front wing and then inside again nice new seats just a nice defender this one in my opinion so I think there we have it really my name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. We can go to our website, which is www.moto-drome.com for any more info. Okay, quick video of startup and uh, idling on this uh, 53 plate Defender 90 TD5 XS station wagon. Make sure we're neutral. So... Yep. Sorry about that. <laughs> Got the steering lockers on. That's it. All the warning lights come up as they should. It's correct that the ABS light uh, flicks out, then comes back on again, then stays on for five seconds, for, sorry, until you're doing five miles an hour. So that won't go out for the moment, but it does go out when you do five miles an hour. Everything goes out the way it should. And now we'll show you under bonnet. 90 TD5 engine, 112,000 miles, running sweetly. Sorry about the shadow. That's a uh, Mobasto 3 litre, I think. Not tested, but. Just uh, idling as it should. Look at it. 